not calculating the parameters for the RTCP. It looks similar to the last test, but it isn't. The last test was measuring the accuracy of the A axis in two degree increments. This is measuring the actual parameters for the RTCP in five degree increments. The idea is to keep that sphere perfectly in the center of that measuring system. And it calculates the offsets to do that. See the evidence of another even worse crash that happened about five or six months ago. The operators are extremely hard on this two million dollar machine. Definitely keeps me busy. Well, this will go on for probably another 20 minutes to kind of get the idea. Oh, and there's my toolbox with the little, uh, my Clyde tool bag on it. That's that cart that I built one of my earlier videos. Everything's still going strong. This thing here is just about done. This final test takes a lot, takes a lot longer than I said. It's probably close to an hour before it actually finishes. But it's probably the most important test of all. It, um, one of the things that it calculates is the RTCP LKS, which, <clears throat> if you look here, that's from the center line of the head to the face of the spindle. That, in conjunction with the tool length, 
pretty much determines where that tool is going to travel the entire time that you're machining. So that's a very um, important parameter to have correct. <coughs> this machine can, this um, HMS system can calculate that very accurately, much more accurately than I could with a test bar and a dial indicator. So I try to have it tested as many increments as possible. I've tried two degree increments, but unfortunately this control can't handle all the data and it locks up. But I found that at five degree increments it'll um, do it just fine. So this is going to be the final portion of this test. <clears throat> We're just about done here. And then I can verify some of this with the test part of the dial indicator. Hopefully it took in one little error out that I couldn't get out mechanically. Should be good to go then.